Hey, it's John Gallant. Today, I'm going to bring you through V2 of this OIDC script I created to help you create federated identity credentials to connect your GitHub repo to your Azure subscription. Why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes in GitHub Actions, you want to connect to Azure to do things like deploy your code to your Azure subscription or add tags or deploy images or whatever you need to do in your Azure subscription. Before OIDC, you store your Azure credentials in a GitHub secret with your password and it is hard to maintain because you have to go and update that password when it expires or changes. With OIDC, you configure an Azure Active Directory application and then when the workflow runs, it gets a token from Azure Active Directory and uses that to connect to Azure. I'm going to quickly walk you through what you need to set up the GitHub to Azure OIDC connection. You're going to need three things. You're going to need an Azure Active Directory, a GitHub repo, and an Azure subscription. You're going to find your tenant ID from the Azure Active Directory tenant and your subscription ID from the Azure subscription. You're going to create an Azure Active Directory application, which has an app ID and an object ID. You're also going to create a service principle, also has an app ID and an object ID. Then you're going to assign that service principle the contributor role for your Azure subscription. We're also going to assign the Azure Active Directory application federated identity credentials. So GitHub, when it requests a token, will be able to connect to that Azure subscription. In the GitHub repo, we are going to save some secrets. That is the client ID, the tenant ID, and the Azure subscription ID. Then when the GitHub workflow runs, it is going to request a token from the OpenID Connect endpoint using those GitHub secrets. And then it is going to validate the federated identity credentials and return a token. We have this use GitHub Actions to connect to Azure doc out on docs.microsoft.com. Bunch of information related to this, and it includes the Azure portal and Azure CLI steps that you need to do to get everything configured. It's a bit overwhelming, so I created a script, and today I'm going to walk you through part two or V2 of that script. You can find a link to this page in the description. With V2 of the script, we have a couple of new things. We are going to use JQ to parse some JSON, and we have a new parameter called fix.json. In that file, we have an array of fix definitions. This one is for pull requests. This one is for main. And then this one is for master. This one's for foo, whatever. You can define whatever you want in this file. When you want to have a new fix, you just copy and paste this, define your subject, and run the script again. And this brings me to the second part of the script. In V2, we are going to loop through that file. We are going to verify if that fic already exists by querying for the subject. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to create it. It's a huge improvement compared to the V1 of the script. Over here on the left, you can see we were calling the AZ REST and posting to the graph endpoint. And we had this JSON. And when you want to do something new, you had to scroll over and try and find it. And it was just cumbersome. So I've improved it. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the whole script. First, we just check if we're in a code space. If we are, then we just exit because this currently does not work in code spaces. We then grab some parameters and stuff them in variables. We then help you log into the Azure CLI and help you select your subscription. We then log you into the GitHub CLI. Then we grab tenant ID, then we grab subscription ID and tenant ID from the Azure CLI. This section is about creating that Azure Active Directory application. And we first check to see if it's already created and skip if so. This section is about creating that service principle. Again, we check first to see if it exists. If it does, we don't create it. If it doesn't exist, then we create it and we assign it the contributor role. Then we grab the app object ID from that Azure Active Directory application. We then loop through all of the fix defined in the fix file that was passed in and then call AZ REST and post to the graph endpoint to create those fix. We are working on integrating this into the Azure CLI, but for now we have to do something like this. There's a couple of doc references to help you manage your fix. And then we set the GitHub secrets so client ID, subscription ID, and tenant ID. Then in your GitHub workflow, we have to define these permissions, ID token write and contents read. Contents read is required if the GitHub repo is private. We're then going to use the Azure login action and we're going to set client ID, tenant ID, and subscription ID. This will get a token to talk to your Azure subscription and log you in using the OIDC method. Then just as a test, we're going to call az account show and az group list just to verify that things are working. 
Let's now run the script to see it in action. I'm going to call oidc.sh. I'm going to pass it in the name of the Azure Active Directory application I want to create. I'm going to pass it in the repo I want to work with and the path to the fixed JSON file. I'm going to hit enter. It's recognized that I'm logged into the Azure TLI. I'm going to use that subscription and then it's going to log me into the GitHub CLI. I'm already authenticated, so I'm going to say no. Got my subscription ID, my tenant ID. Now it's going to create my Azure Active Directory application. It's going to sleep for 30 seconds just to give time for the app to be created. Now it's going to check if the service principle already exists. Since it doesn't, it is going to create a new one. And then again, sleep for 30 seconds just to make sure the SP is created successfully. It then created the role assignment. And now it is creating the federated identity credentials. Now, when you go to the Azure portal to see if the fix have been created, sometimes they just aren't there. So you're going to have to run the script again. I'm not really sure why that's happening. And I'm talking with the graph team about that. So I've reran the script and you can see that it created the one that was not there. And when I go to the Azure portal, I can now see all three were created. And then when you go to the GitHub repository that you ran the script against and go to the build output, you can see that we ran Azure CLI. We're going to use OIDC authentication and login was successful. Hopefully this script helps you get everything set up. Like I said before, we're going to improve the Azure CLI to have all of this included. But for now, this is what you got to do. Hope it helps. Take care.